So now we'll be taking the derivative of arctangent of x or tan inverse of x, whichever it is that you would prefer, using a method called implicit differentiation. So what we'll be taking advantage of in this video is the fact that tangent and arctangent are inverses of each other. So we have the we have y is equal to arctangent of x and we want to isolate for x. So what we'll do is we'll take the tangent of both sides. So tangent of y is equal to the tangent of arctangent of x. Now the tangent and the arctangent are going to cancel each other out, so all we'll have left on this side is x. So tangent of y is actually equal to x. So what we'll do now is we will take the derivative of both sides with respect to x, where it is that d by dx of tangent of y is equal to d by dx of x. And we will be differentiating this using the chain rule, where it is that y will be trapped within a tangent of x function. So we have our f of x, g of x. Feel free to go ahead and check out my chain rule application video in order to familiarize yourself with the chain rule if you aren't already, where our outer function will be tangent of x, our inner function will be y, our derivative of our outer function will be secant squared of x, and the derivative of our inner function will be dy by dx, which is essentially what it is that we're solving for. So we differentiate both sides, one with the chain rule where we will have f prime composed of g multiplied by g prime. This is all chain rule application. So this side will be equal to secant squared of y multiplied by dy by dx is equal to the derivative of x with respect to x, which is simply equal to one. So we wanna isolate dy by dx. We divide both sides by secant squared of y divide by secant squared of y. This cancels this. All we will be left with is dy by dx is equal to one over secant squared of y. So let's go ahead and erase this and make a little bit of space here. dy by dx is equal to one over secant squared of y. And secant and cosine are essentially inverses of each other. So we can go ahead and rewrite dy by dx as cosine squared of y. So dy by dx is equal to cosine squared of y. So what we'll do here is we will construct our triangle as we have done in previous videos where it is the tangent of our angle y. Our angle y right over here, the tangent which is going to be the opposite over the adjacent is equal to x. So we have x over here and one over here because this can be viewed as x over one. So the hypotenuse of that will simply be the sum, uh, the square root of the sum of their squares, which is the square root of x squared plus one. So cosine squared of y is simply going to be equal to, if we were to take the cosine of this triangle here, cosine of y in this triangle, cosine is going to be adjacent divided by the hypotenuse, which is one over the square root of x squared plus one. Now we have to square it, and that's equal to one over x squared plus one. 